Hi everyone, my name is Singing. Today, I would like to present on lecture 8's Garrett's model. What is Garrett's model? Garrett's model proposes serial processing of speech production. In serial processing, only one thing is happening. The way serial function is step 1 to step 2. It never go backwards. These levels of processing do not interact with one another. Let's have a look at this diagram. In Garrett's model, there are a few stages of synthetic planning, which is message level, functional level, positional level, sound level, and articulatory instructions. During conceptualization, only message level is happening, whereas functional level, positional level, and sound level are included in formulation. Lastly, articulatory instructions is in the articulation. Here is another diagram to explain Garrett's model. A is the message level. You have an idea on what you want to say. B. You have the subject, verb, object. It's about how you understand the function of utterance. C. You make a mold for your sentence. D. You find suitable words for your content. E. You put content words into your mold and add on time. F is the sound level. You associate sounds to words. G is articulation. You speak the words to others. Out of all stages, there are two major levels, which are functional level and positional level. In functional level, one will select words to convey its message. It's about the synthetic roles of sentences such as subject, verb, and object. Content words will be choose in this level. In positional level, words are in order and sound of output is concerned. Take this sentence as an example. She is having her breakfast. On the functional level, she is subject, is having is verb, and her breakfast is object. The sentence itself is positional level. The content words are she, having, and breakfast, while function words will be is and her. Garrett's model found that only certain speech errors will be made by human. Speech errors that people tend to make is when there are elements from the same processing vocabulary or level. In other words, now will exchange with noun but not with verb. Besides, function words and content words will not exchange with each other too. They only exchange among themselves. For example, he puts the book on the shelf. Speech error occurs when we say it as he puts the shelf on the book. We will never say puts he the book on the shelf or he puts the on book the shelf. Lastly, Garrett's model found that speech errors do caused by sounds and words exchange. Words exchange are from same synthetic class. It exchange across phrases, while sounds exchange has nothing to do with its synthetic class. It usually exchange across small distant words which has similar pronunciation. Take the previous sentence as an example. We might say he boots the poke. On the shelf. Instead of puts the book, we say boots the book because the pronunciation of b and p is very similar. Okay, that's all for my presentation. Hope that my video do help you all to understand better on Garrett's model. Thank you.